Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you a script that I built to check your, the, the health of all the services on Casa OS. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, you're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to uh, go in Casa OS Hell Check. And then I'm going to run .sh. So I'm going to try to explain this. So config file is etc Casa OS gateway .ini. And then the service prefix that I'm going to store in this variable is Casa OS. And then I'm going to check if the configuration file exists. If it does exist and this one right here exists, then it's going to run this. And then I'm going to get the port off of the config file of this one. And then I'm going to get the IP address off the host name and I'm going to awk and I'm going to get it. So the local IP address is IP address and the port number is port number. And then it's going to put this all together and say the user can access it in the browser at IP address and the port. It's going to also go and check the UFW status, which is the firewall. And uh, if the user doesn't have this installed, it, it'll just put it in there that says that the command is not found. But um, if it is installed, it's going to check the status of it and it's going to see if the port's there. And then uh, we're going to say that if it's denied, then the port is blocked by UFW firewall. And then if it's not blocked, it's going to say the port uh, is not blocked by UFW. Now, if for some reason the config file up here did not meet the expectation of being uh, uh, the, the, the file existing, then it's going to else right here, it's going to say configuration file not found. Okay, now I'm going to get the list of all the Casa OS services. So I'm going to uh, store it in the services variable right here. And then system CTL, a list units and type service. And then I'm going to grep. So I'm going to get the service prefix up here. So I'm going to get all the services that have cost OS in it. And then I'm going to check if, if any of the services were found. Uh, if they weren't found, then no cost OS services uh, fa found. And then I'm going to exit the script. So I'm going to flag to track all the overall uh, health. So, so I'm going to set a variable of all services OK to true. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to use the services right here. I'm going to loop through all of them and I'm going to check if they're active. And then if they are active and then it says the service is running. The else, then it's going to say the service is not running. So that gives a clear uh thing of saying to the user that this service is not running and that could be why your cost os is not working and then i'm going to say all services okay to false so it's going to change this to false up here and then uh, i'm going to check for any errors so i'm going to set error found false and then i'm going to loop through all the services i'm going to use the uh I, I'm, I'm going to set an errors variable right here i'm going to use journal ctl and then I'm gonna get the service, and then I'm going to grep, and then I'm gonna find all the errors with error, fail, or exception. And then if if there was a a a errors found uh, in this, then it's going to echo them out here. It's gonna also set the dynamic variable right here to true, and that's going to let this if statement know that a a a an error was found so service logs errors found and then cross mark and then if they weren't found then service logs no errors found and then i'm going to i'm going to provide an overall health summary so if these uh if the all uh, services okay right here uh is false then um well, 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 well true i mean well true it says all cost OS services are up and running. Uh, if they are false, then some cost OS services are not running and please check the output. And you would check the output up here and you would see that which one's not running. So I hope that explains it a little bit. 
So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now um, I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts again. I'm going to go to Casa OS Hell Check. I'm going to go down to this Run Command right here. I'm going to copy this right here. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my terminal for my Casa OS and run it. So now I'm going to start out on my Casa OS. I'm going to go up to Terminal Logs right here. And then I'm going to be in Terminal Tab. And then I'm going to put my username and password in to get into the SSH. And if you're running the Zima board, this could be Casa OS for the username and Casa OS for the password. So I'm going to connect. And then now we are connected. So I'm going to clear it out. I'm going to paste in the command to run the script. I'm going to press return or enter. And then it puts out a lot of information. And um, so the local IP address, the port number, you can access it by copying this right here. The uh, the port 80 is not blocked by uh, blocked by UFW, and then um, it, it checks if all the services are running, and then it checks for some errors in the Cost OS app management, and um, it also checks for errors in each ser service too. I mean you can see that there's quite a few so now th this is a fresh install as well um so um now you'll see the ser service logs right here and there's errors found and then but all ser all, all casa os services are up and running so that's good so that's a little bit about the hell check and i just thought it would help somebody get an overview of their cost os so I just went over step by step on using the script that I built for checking the health of your Cos OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.